Very good. Thank you. All right. Um, do me a favor. Before you sit down, can you give me an eraser? No, no, no. The eraser. Just the eraser. Yeah. Thank you. All right. So make sure you're on page 12, Ali. And we are writing this down on page 12. We're going to solve this equation. So please write this. Uh, so I'm going to have you tell me the steps. I'm going to call in different groups. Um, so what is the first thing I do? Do I have volunteer? What's the first thing I do? I have to do something to this. Squiggly underline. All right. Um, Ali, Dany, what do I do to 6x? Squiggly or underline? Perfect. Squiggly because it has x in it. Ali, Zuby, squiggly or underline? Underline because it doesn't have an, a letter, right, an X. 23, uh, Haya. Underline. Because, perfect, 4X, Flora, squiggly or underline. Because, all right, next step, I'm going to move, I'm going to move. Before I move, that's what I'm going to do next, but I need to see both sides. You okay, Oscar? You okay? So what I'm going to do next, because you're not on page 12 or writing this down. Uh, so the next thing I need to do is I need to figure out where which side I want squiggly and underlined. It doesn't matter. You're going to still get the same answer, but one way is going to be longer than the other way. Um, I'll let you decide, Alundra, for us. Do you want squiggly on the left or the right? Yeah, do you want the squiggly here or this, this one? Okay. So make a really big squiggly at the top and a really big underline on the other side. You're going to do these by yourself in just a minute. So that's why we're reviewing it. This is on page 12. So we ask ourselves, does it stay or does it go? Pan 6x, does it stay here on the squiggly side or does it go? Because... Yeah, squiggly. Stays. Okay. The minus 5 Zuhura, does it stay or does it go? Okay, well that was Luis. Luis, why does it stay? I mean, why does it go? Because it's underlined. So you're right. It does have to go because it's underlined. So let's let Zuhura answer. How do I move? How do I get 0 if I move it? If it's negative 5, do you remember what I do with negatives? So what do I do to her if it's negative 5? Plus or plus or minus. Here it's plus because it's the opposite, right? So plus 5. So now I've got 0. This is gone. This is moved over. Which one do I move it to, Christian? The 23 or the 4x? Okay, the 23. All right, and so when I add them, I get what, Luis? What do I get? 23 plus 5. Perfect. And this is underlined. I'm constantly checking. Is it underlined? Does it stay? Does it go? So underlined, underlined, stay. Um, do I need to move anything else, Oscar? 4x, and I move it because why, Ali Dany? Because it's squiggly and only underlines can stay. All right, Ali Zuby, how do I move up plus 4x? Minus, perfect. Okay, if it was minus, you move it with plus. If it's plus, you move it with minus. Minus 4x, squiggly, it moves over. When I move it over, Flor, where do I put it on this side? Yeah, the 6x, because it also is squiggly, <gasps> not plus. Do you see what I just did? I accidentally wrote this. You write the same thing. 
you write the same thing, minus 4x squiggly. So at 6, my, 6x minus 4x is what, Alundra? 2x bless you, squiggly. So then you check and make sure everything is on the right side. This has been moved over. That has been moved over. All I have left over is a 2x and 28. And um, I haven't called on Haya. Haya, is everything correct? Is everything on the right side? Like where it needs to go? Squiggly, squiggly. Good. And this one? Is that correct? Okay, so everything's where it needs to go. So once everything is where it's supposed to be, the squiggly's on the squiggly, the underline on the underline side, what do I do next, Pan? I just moved everything. What do I do next? <gasps> you don't have that step. Sorry, can you write this down? Because uh, you weren't here the day we talked about it. Right, number three. Do you have number three? Oh, what is it? Yeah, because right now it's saying if you have two x's, two of those, it equals to 28. Okay, Christian? If you have two of those, two of the x amount, if it's two number, you know, the months, it's $28. If we just want to know for one, okay, we're going to divide. Do you know what I divide by Suhura? I'll help you. It's in front of the X. So you circle what's in front of the X. Don't circle the X. Just the number in front of the X. So you divide everything by 2. If this number is negative, you divide by negative. So just one month, one X is how much? 28 divided by 2. Alright, now we're going to do some practice problems. Thank you for watching and subscribe.